Tiger 219 here, and um, <clears throat> today's video is going to kind of be a tough one to talk about. It's the first time I've talked about this. Um, I had an eating disorder. Um, it all began when I lived in North Carolina. Um, I, um, after, right after I broke up with my fiance, um, my depression and anxiety was, was through the roof. Um, it got to the point where I, I stopped eating. I was living off of coffee and, and cigarettes. Um, I'd eat here and there. Now I'm five foot two and when I moved there, I weighed about 115 pounds. At my lowest weight, I weighed about 72. Um, and yes, contrary to popular belief, uh, men do get eating disorders. It's just not widely discussed. As a man, you're, you're taught to hide your feelings a lot. Um... So, <clears throat> I, um, when I went to a, I went to a rehab center and, um, for my depression and they had noticed that my weight was real low. And of course they asked me, what do you eat? And yeah, I, I just have a fast metabolism. I burn it off. Um, cause I didn't want to admit that I had, uh, an eating disorder. When I moved back to Indiana, um, I, you know, would eat here, would eat like a bird. I, I pick at things, but I mean, I never really truly ate full meals and stuff like that. I just couldn't. Um, especially when I got depressed or my anxiety would, would act up. I could not eat. If I ate, I got sick. Um... I didn't pick up on little signs. Um, when I went to the beach, I was laying out, get some sun, because I got a beach that's two blocks from me. And um, I had this girl walk up to me. I didn't know her from Adams um, at all. And she, out of the blue, just randomly walks up to me and, are you anorexic? And of course I told her, no. And she kind of just kind of laughed and walked away. I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, um, that that's rude. I'm, you know, because me, I'm thinking about myself, ah, I'm just naturally skinny. You know, there, there's there's not a problem. But then my friends started noticing <clears throat> that they're like, dude, you've lost a lot of weight. And I noticed the clothes that used to fit me no longer did. <laughs> um... I thought maybe, eh, I don't know, it's maybe something with the wash or something. I never wanted to admit that I had an eating problem. Um, you know, I never really looked, in, I never really looked in the mirror. I was, you know, never liked mirrors. I never liked scales. I don't own a scale. I have one mirror and it came with my apartment and I very rarely look in that. Um, so, um, needless to say, um, I continued to keep going on until, um, my last suicide attempt. Um, the doctors started questioning me about my eating habits, and when I told them, and they, they pretty much told me, um, you have an eating disorder. And it's not good. And it's going to lead to anorexia, uh, you having anorexia. Because your weight is really low. And that's when they weighed me. And when they weighed me, I weighed in at 72.3 pounds. And they're like, for your height and your age, you shouldn't weigh that low. I chalked it up as to having a fast metabolism and they're like, you know, and of course they're like, when you're, you know, no, you have an eating disorder. 
And I, at first, I, I didn't want to believe it. I kind of... Yeah, me having an eating disorder, please. That, you know... Until I, I sat back and I started thinking... All the times that I was living off of coffee and cigarettes. All the times that I would eat like a bird. Um, and, you know, my, my parents noticed. Um, my friends definitely noticed. My friends would tell me, you need to eat. You need to eat or you're going to die. You need to eat. To hear that come out of a doctor's mouth, you kind of need to start eating. You know, you kind of, you've got to gain weight or you will die. Part of me wanted to get popular. Part of me didn't. Um, as sad as that sounds. Because at that time period, I, I was battling depression. I didn't care if I lived there or died. Um, but when my new significant other said, you need, you're scaring me. She goes, it's like hugging a bag of bones. And she goes, and I hate to be mean like that, but... She goes, I'm really scared. And she goes, and it's, she goes, I can see every bone. She goes, I can, you know what I mean? She's like, I, you're fine. I can see your spine. It's so defined. You know, she goes, I can see your ribs. I can play count the ribs. Um, she goes, I'm really scared for you. Please, please get help. And because I loved her and... I decided I wanted to get better. Um, I did. And it's, it's never easy. Um, people think it's a cut and dry thing with eating disorders. That it just goes away overnight and you gain weight overnight. And you don't. <clears throat> it, it's, I've still now every once in a while, I'm still battling with it. Because there are some days where I get depressed, I don't want to eat. At all. Um, this contrary belief that men don't get eating disorders. Eating disorders have no gender. At all. Depression has no gender. Um, it's just as men, you're taught not to talk about certain things. It's that manly and I think it needs to be discussed more. Because it's not just a female issue. Like people believe it is. And if you have an eating disorder... Them, that scale and that mirror, they're your enemies. Food is not your enemy. And I know it's hard not to listen to them, them voices, but them voices are lying to you. That mirror, that little image of you looking in the mirror, thinking you're fat when you're really not, it's a lie. It's your mind lying to you. It doesn't matter what you look like, it's your personality. And this constant belief that everybody believes you have to be a size zero to be beautiful is full of shit. Because you are beautiful. Everybody is beautiful. And um, I, I've <laughs> seen people on Instagram and they talk about a fat when they're really not. And I, it was with me. It was never about being worried about being fat. Me, it was more. I just didn't want to eat because I was depressed. And I think a lot of it was there were times where I was hoping I would starve to death. With me, I have now worked with my doctor. I um. You know, I keep I, I keep track of what I eat now. I still eat healthy. Um, because you don't realize when you don't eat, it does affect your mind. It makes your mind worse. And believe it or not, I found out it can sometimes make your depression even worse. 
And um, I still have my days. I still struggle with it. I'm probably going to struggle with it the rest of my life. I mean, but I'm striving because I want to get better. And I'm making this video because I don't want anybody to feel alone. Because trust me when I tell you, I felt alone. I'm like, and my, I had a weird mode of thinking because I thought, well, wait a minute. I thought only girls got eating disorders. This was more a girl thing. So as a guy, I felt utterly alone with this. And there are some days I still feel alone. But I've gotten a better support system. And yes, yeah, support system is key. And, um, you know, I, again, thanks to Anna, who is a godsend, and who has no idea how much of a beautiful angel she is. Um, and Emily, and, and Leslie, and Lola, and Meredith, and a few others. They've given me the strength to kind of fight with this. And, um, because I, I want people to understand you're not alone. And I know it's easier to think you are, but you're not. And the mirrors and the mirrors and the, the, the scales, they're the enemies, not, not food. Food is not the enemy. Food will never be the enemy. And don't, don't ever think you're not beautiful because you are you're special and beautiful in your own way and remember you are loved and you are not alone and um, you can overcome this yes you're gonna fall you're gonna stumble you're gonna relapse that happens Rome wasn't built in a night If you're having an eating disorder, please, 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 please seek help. Because you can beat this. You just have, have to find a strength within yourself to fight this. Stay lucid. Stay strong. I love you. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.